In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the online form fill up for the CET B at Naglen 2022. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So this is the admission portal of Nagaland University. The link is provided in the description. You can click on the link and it will take you to this dashboard. Out here they have clearly mentioned in NB1, applicants must first register on this website before the online application form can be accessed. So once you are registered, you need to log in and if you want to log out, you can click here. And on not B, we can find for any queries related to BIT, you can send your queries in this email address provided in this dashboard or you can call in the working hours. For any technical queries, you can click and then you can provide that queries here in this dashboard and then you can submit your queries. So these are the informations regarding the BIT before you proceed with your online application form. So those candidates who are fresh and you want to apply for the CET BIT Naglen 2022, you need to first get registered here. Here you need to provide your username, your valid email address, your password and then you need to click on this CAPTCHA. So once you provide your credentials here, then you need to click on create new account. After that, you'll get registered for the application form. So once you get registered, you need to click on login and then you need to provide the login credentials here and then you need to press on login. After which it will take you to the dashboard and now you are ready for the application form to apply for the CTB at Nagaland 2022. So you click on the application form, it will take you to this dashboard where you can do the application form for the admission to BA course for 2020-22 to 24 session. So it has been divided under different segments. Firstly, you need to provide your personal details. Next, you need to provide your examination details. Next, we have the academic qualifications followed by payment and at the end, we need to upload documents. After which, it will take you to the declaration form where you need to press yes. And then you can click on preview and check out whether the informations that you have provided are correctly mentioned or not. After that, once you get verified, you can click on the submit button. So these are the informations that I would like to provide in this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you what are the important informations and the documents that you need to upload before you proceed with this online application form. So stay tuned and keep watching. Shisak Tombo.